Welcome to Snoozer Storytime Adventures. How are we doing today, Snoozer? <sighs> I am sleepy. Sleepy? Hmm. I think I might have a good idea for a book for today. What is it about? Well, it's actually a book of poetry. Do you know what poems are? Yeah, I've heard of poems. Yeah, poems are usually, they're a form of writing, but they kind of come out like a, a song or a way you would speak. They usually have some rhythm to them, and they're usually shorter. So this whole book is a whole book of different poems. So I'm just going to read a few today. Okay, will they put me to sleep? Well, I hope not. I don't. I, I just thought it would be a nice relaxing thing for you to do because you said you were sleepy. But this is called Favorite Poems for Bedtime, a child's collection. So you being sleepy, I thought it might be a good idea to read some poems. Hmm, I'm getting excited now. Yes, all right. Well, let's see. I marked off a couple in here that I wanted to read. So let's start with this one. It is called Wishing. See if you can hear the rhythm in this poem. Ring ting, I wish I were a primrose, a bright yellow primrose blowing in the spring. The stooping boughs above me, the wandering bee to love me, the fern and moss to creep across, and the elm tree for our king. Nice day! I wish I were an elm tree, a great lofty elm tree with green leaves gay. The winds would set them dancing, the sun and moonshine glancing. The birds would house among the boughs and sweetly sing. Oh no! I wish I were a robin, a robin or a little wren. Everywhere to go, through forest, field, or garden, and ask no leave or pardon till winter comes with icy thumbs to ruffle up our wing. Well, tell, where should I fly to? Where go to sleep in the dark wood or dell? Before day was over, here comes the rover for mother's kiss, sweeter this than any other thing. That was relaxing. Yes. And it really, it has a lot of beautiful parts to it. So it almost makes you picture things better than you would when you're just reading a story, doesn't it? Mrs. Hamilton, I was using my imagination when you were reading that. That's fantastic. I like to hear that because sometimes when there aren't pictures, you can envision what you're listening to or reading about in your mind. I like doing that. So oh, good. All right, let's try this one. It's called The Shut Eye Train. Shut eyes? Mrs. Hamilton, I can't shut my eyes. Uh, hmm, well, you'll just have to imagine that you are. All right, this is by Eugene Field. Come, my little one, with me. There are wondrous sights to see as the evening shadows fall in your pretty cap and gown. Don't detain the shut-eye train. Tingling, the bell it goeth. Toot, toot, the whistle bloweth. And we hear the warming call. All aboard for shut-eye town. Over hill and over plain, soon will speed the shut-eye train. Through the blue, where bloom the stars, and the mother moon looks down. Will away to land of fay. Oh, the sights that we shall see there. Come, my little one, with me there. Tis a goodly train of cars, all aboard for shut-eye town. Swifter than a wild bird's flight through the realms of fleecy light. We shall speed and speed away. Let the night in envy frown. What care we how wroth she be to the Balo land above us, to the Balo folk who love us. Let us hasten while we may all aboard for Shut-Eye Town. Hmm. That was very interesting. 
And I was imagining a train. All right, I think I have one more poem to read to you. A Paper Moon by Annette Wynn. I think I'd like you better, Star, if you were not so high and far. So many friendly things are found quite near the ground. I wonder if I saw you near, would you appear so very fine? I hope you would. Just be as pretty, bright, and good. Not like some that only are fine and true when seen from afar. I have a little candlelight, friendly, simple, good, and bright. I love it for it shines at night upon the stairs and waits, still shining till my prayers are said. And I'm about to jump in bed. I say, good night, dear candlelight. I think I'd like you better, Star, if you were only not so far. Wowee! I like that story. Yeah, that was a very nice poem. All right. Wow. That was a lot of fun reading some poetry. And it made me feel a little sleepy. Does all poetry rhyme? Not all of it rhymes, Snoozer, but often it does have a rhythm to it. And a lot of times it has rhyme to it. Whoa. Are you going to sing a song now? I thought I would. And it is a song called, Are You Sleeping? I thought that might be appropriate since you're feeling a little sleepy. Is this song going to rhyme? Yes, this song is going to rhyme. And it also is a song that can be sung in a round. So after I sing it, I want you to try and sing it after me in a round. Do you know what a round is? Round? Like a circle? Yeah, it's kind of like singing in a circle. So I'll sing the first part, and then you come in and start singing the song. And try not to think about what I'm singing. You're just going to sing the song straight through. I sing the song straight through, and then you start it when I point to you. And you sing the song straight through. And that's called a round. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to sing it first so we can all practice. All right? Here we go. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. That was fun. It rhymed. It did rhyme. That helps you remember it. Well, what do you think, Snoozer? Do you think I can start it off and then you can come in and start singing? yep rooney All right, Snoozer. So, I'm going to sing, Are You Sleeping? Are You Sleeping? And right as I'm singing, Brother John, you're going to come in with the, Are You Sleeping? And you're going to sing it straight through and we're going to see how that sounds together. Yeah, I'm ready! All right, do you think you could do it? Yes! All right, I'll point to you so you know when to come in. All right, here we go. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are Brother you sleeping? John, are Brother you John, morning Brother bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. That was awesome, Snoozer. I had fun. I like to dance. And I like to sing. I like to sing and dance. Well, I'm really proud of you for trying that. It's fun to try new things. Well, Snoozer, I thought since we were talking about the moon and singing that song, Are You Sleeping, that we could make ourselves a moon. 
Yes! I love the moon! And that moon is going to be wearing a little cap to help him go to sleep. Okay. So let's gather our materials. So this is the sheet we need. I'm going to get cutting and then we're going to put our moon together. Okay. Well, we read some nice poetry today about the moon. Remember the shut-eye train? That was a great poem. All right. So, does that look good to you? Yes! I like the moon! And I like the moon's hat! I know. Back in the day, when, when people went to bed, sometimes they would wear a hat to bed. Was it like that hat? I think so. I never wore a hat. It was before I was born, but I just think some people used to wear a nightcap, they called it. Maybe to keep their hair all in place? I don't know. Maybe we could write a poem about that sometime. Maybe it was because it was really cold back then. Could be. Yes, we are blessed with heat and all kinds of wonderful things that they didn't have a long time ago. All right, well, here's the moon. Oh. So, I'm kind of in the mood to write myself a poem, are you? Yeah, and I can rhyme. Yeah, it was fun reading poetry, so we always delve into something new. So I had a great time with you, Snoozer, and I hope you're inspired by the poetry that we read today. Totally. Me too. All right. Well, I'll see you and all my friends next time on Snoozer Storytime Adventures. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. <laughs>